Taking now at four, coronavirus concerns on the rise. The virus is upon us with a rapid viciousness like we haven't seen before. Governor Roy Cooper announcing more restrictions due to the coronavirus starting on Friday and lasting through at least January 8th. We will enter a modified stay at home order and there will also be a daily curfew. People being asked to stay inside their homes between 10 at night and 5 in the morning. Many businesses will be asked to close at 10 p.m. and places that sell alcohol will have to stop selling by 9 p.m. These new restrictions coming as the state broke single day coronavirus records on three separate days in just the last week. When it comes to community spread, 48 counties in North Carolina now in the red, meaning there is a critical amount of spread. 34 counties, including Mecklenburg County, are in the orange, meaning there is a substantial amount of spread. The number of counties in the red has more than doubled from the November 23rd county alert. It was only at 20 counties then. Thank you for joining us here on WCNC Charlotte. I'm Fred Shropshire. And I'm Vanessa Rufus. Obviously, a lot of information to get to today, so let's dive right into that latest announcement from Governor Roy Cooper. We are learning that North Carolina will enter a modified stay at home order with a curfew starting Friday afternoon. That is just one of the announcements that the governor just made this afternoon. Here are some of the main takeaways from his briefing. So, this modified stay at home order is set to start Friday at 5 p.m. All North Carolinians will have have to be at their home or at the location where they plan to stay the night by 10 p.m. and they must stay there until 5 p.m. In addition to that, some businesses will have to close early by that curfew start and places that sell alcohol must stop their service at 9 p.m. Of course, all of this is an effort to curb viral spread. Today we got an update on that county alert system showing how bad it has gotten in just a couple of weeks. As you can see here, a lot of red and orange, nearly half the state moving into red, critical spread territory. Most of the Charlotte region, as you can see, is now in the red zone. There are some exceptions, those being Mecklenburg County, Stanley, Watauga, and Burke counties. They are in the orange, which is still not great. That is considered substantial spread. And let me be clear, we will do more if our trends do not improve. That means additional actions involving indoor restaurant dining, entertainment facilities, or shopping and retail capacity. So that executive order is set to last through the new year until January 8th. We did hear health officials expressing concern with the trends they're seeing with our metrics. In fact, today, the state breaking through that 2300 patient mark with hospitalizations to set yet another record today. We'll have a bit more on those metrics coming up ahead at 5:30.